Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to another tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to do this. Thank God you're back. The cat has been sat on me all day. Well, I'm terribly sorry to hear that, Alexa. Switch the living room lights on. Switch in the living room lights on. So this is actually ridiculously easy to achieve. Uh, we're gonna use Tasker, don't go anywhere. I know there are a whole bunch of scaredy cat newbies going, oh, don't like Tasker, it's scary. It's not scary at all. I'm actually gonna walk you through it step by step, and this should only take you about 10 minutes to achieve, I promise, uh, or your money back. You didn't pay me anything, so you're not gonna get any money back. Um, there are two things in Tasker you are gonna use, profiles and tasks. The idea is that profiles is watching for things that happen on your phone, and tasks, are the things that happen off the back of those things. So you could have a profile which was watching for your Wi-Fi connection. So when you came into contact with your Wi-Fi, the profile would be activated. Off the back of that, we could have a task in Tasker that then does something. So what I've done is I've created a profile that actually says, when I connect my Bluetooth to my Echo Dot, which happens, of course, oh. as soon as I come into range with it, I want a task to occur, and that task is going to be to play a WAV file. The WAV file actually plays on the phone, and that is a WAV file saying, welcome home, Paul, or whatever it is we want Alexa to say. Uh, and because I'm automatically connected to the Bluetooth, the sound actually comes out of Alexa, and everybody is fooled into thinking that Alexa is actually saying it, when in fact, it's a WAV file that I recorded of Alexa saying something that runs from the phone, across the Bluetooth, and out of the Echo Dot speaker. Genius. So before we begin, we're gonna need uh, some recordings of Alexa welcoming you back, saying wonderful things that make your heart sing. Uh, in order to do that, you can either use the recordings I've created already, and there's a link in the description to my website where you can download the recordings I've created. If your name is Paul, you're really lucky, because there's about three in there that will use my name specifically. Um, the others are generic, and you can just use those. If you want something more specific for you, Alexa's Echo Dot has a uh, an output on it, which you could plug into a cable such as this, which is the same at both ends, and all you do is you plug this jack cable into the mic input on your computer and record her saying stuff. And you can get her to say anything you like simply by saying, Alexa, Simon says, welcome back, O oh glorious leader. Welcome back, a glorious leader. <laughs> so as long as you are recording her saying these things, you can create your own WAV files and then stick them on your Android phone and get your Android phone to play them using the tutorial you're about to watch. So in order to let Tasker know, it's okay, you can do what you like with my phone, you need to just set up some first time actions. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into Tasker, select the menu icon, uh, and go to preferences. Under preferences, we can say it's okay to do this and it's okay to do that. Uh, there are some things it needs to be able to do. One of them is run in foreground on most phones. Uh, the other one is show notification icon on a lot of phones. You might get away with ticking none of those boxes, but I'd recommend if you're having any kind of difficulty, that's where you're gonna wanna start. So tick those boxes, um, it basically stops your phone from shutting them down because your phone loves to kill anything uh, that it thinks might be robbing your battery. Tasker is not robbing your battery unless you set it to do something really stupid like monitor for movement all day long. That will definitely kill your battery, don't do that. Um, we're also gonna go into miscellaneous and you need to tick allow external access. Uh, by allowing external access, um, it's not really necessary for this tutorial, but you might find it useful for future tutorials, so tick it now anyway. Uh, I'm now gonna press back and it has saved those things. The other thing we need to do is go to menu and go to more and then Android settings. And you don't necessarily, again, need to go through all of these things, but if you're having any kind of difficulties once you follow this tutorial through, this is where I'd start. Uh, this takes you through all of the settings in Android itself where Android might need to be given permission to let Tasker do things um, to make these things work. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to start if anything isn't working. So I'll give you an example. If you go into accessibility settings and scroll down towards the bottom, you can see Tasker is on. Uh, you could switch Tasker off and then Tasker wouldn't have the accessibility features to be able to do the things required uh, for accessibility. Um, you might get away with it again, but that's where to start if it's not working. Uh, that is the setup process complete. 
So I'm going to do the easiest and probably the most obvious one. Uh, I'm going to press plus here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to say listen out for a Bluetooth connection specifically to my Amazon Echo Dot. Uh, so I'm going to go to state and then go to net. So we're now going to go to BT connected because that's the Bluetooth connection is connected to something. Uh, and now we can set a name. Uh, if we leave it blank, any Bluetooth connection will trigger it. And obviously we don't want that. We only want it to happen when we specifically connect to the Echo Dot. Uh, if you connect to your Echo Dot, so I'm going to click my Bluetooth connection. I can see my Echo Dot is called Echo Space Dot hyphen 6RK and the capitals and lowercase letters are super important as well. Right, so this means it will now only respond when I connect specifically to the Echo Dot. So I'm going to press back. And now it's saying, which task do you want me to perform when this happens? And there aren't any yet, so the only option is new task. So I'm going to say, yeah, cool, new task. That's what I want to happen. Uh, the optional thing is the title. We want to create a title that makes sense to us so we can recall it later on if need be. Uh, so I'm going to call it Welcome Home. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You could call it Welcome to My Face. That would be super weird, don't do that. So I'm now going to uh, click to add an action. So it's saying, what actions do you want to perform? So I'm going to say plus uh, media, because we want it to play media. And then we're going to select music play. And now it's saying, what music do you want to play? And I can select from files. It really is this easy. All I've got to do now is select the WAV file, and this phone will play that WAV file when I come into contact with the Bluetooth. So if I now uh, press the little search button, top right, and find the files. Um, I've already downloaded them to my phone. Um, I've got Alexa welcome speeches folder, uh, and I've got a few to choose from because I decided to record a few and see which ones I liked the best. I'm gonna use welcome home, king of the castle, lord of the manor, because I'm a back to the future fan and I love that stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it set to media. I'm gonna press back. And we now have uh, a, a music play task and all that task does is it plays music. What I want to do, though, I want it to wait a little while before it starts playing it. Because if you are rolling up on your driveway, it's going to connect to the Bluetooth uh, pretty quickly, because Bluetooth range is, is reasonable nowadays, uh, and you won't actually get to hear her say it. So I'm going to tell it to wait 10 seconds before saying it. Uh, so all we've got to do is add, by clicking the plus button again, another little task to our task. Uh, so I'm going to say task wait because I want the task to wait simple as that um, I can either wait milliseconds seconds minutes hours days I can wait as long as I want I'm gonna choose to wait for 10 seconds because that's about the time it takes for my Bluetooth to connect me to get my key in the door get the door open and then Alexa's there. Um, you could choose longer, I would time yourself, and believe it or not, we are creatures of habit, humans. You'll find every time that you walk through your front door, it actually takes you almost exactly the same length of time. So if you time yourself and you set this, you'll actually find this is a really reliable way of getting her to welcome you home. If you don't like this method though, and you want something that's always definitely gonna be 100% accurate, we'll come on to that in a minute. So I'm gonna press the back key, uh, and I need to just drag the weight above music play, so it's gonna wait 10 seconds, then play the music, because it does these things in order, it goes top to bottom. Uh, and you'll see if I press the little play button here in the bottom left, it will perform that task. Welcome home. There you go. King of the <laughs> castle, Lord of the Manor. 10 seconds is a really long time. So if you then press back, we now have uh, set tasker up to automatically, whenever we connect to the echo dot, wait 10 seconds, play that wave file. So let's test that theory now by connecting it to my Echo Dot. Now connected to Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So 10 seconds should pass, and then once the 10 seconds are up, we should hear her say the Welcome words. Home. King of the castle, Lord of the manor. I almost timed that perfectly, didn't I? Almost, it was almost scripted but not quite. But that is perfect, that works. That is super, super easy. 
So I know there are people out there going, but I'm a unique and special individual. I'm not a creature of habit. I come home at a different time every day and everything I do is different every single time. Well, if that's the case, you could do it via any notification on your phone. So this, for example, is a uh, Magia something, my UI, me, me, I have no idea how to pronounce it. This is an answer to smart things from China, uh, and it's basically an alarm system. And when you click this button, for example, it sets the alarm. I don't know if you heard that in the background. Uh, and if I press it again, it disables the alarm. Um, I could set this button to do pretty much anything. I can make it double click to disable the alarm, for example. So what you could do is have this as your alarm system, and when you double click it, a notification occurs on your phone. Uh, that happens by default anyway. There you go. So that notification on my phone means that I can get Tasker to react to that instead. So if I don't always take the same amount of time to get in the house, and I desperately always want to hear Alexa's voice every time I walk into the house because there's something wrong with my brain, uh, well, you could have this at your front door as your alarm system, and when you double-click it to disable your alarm, a notification happens on the phone, and Tasker reacts to that notification. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up Tasker now to react to that notification. So if I go to Tasker again, um, we can create a new profile, so I'm going to press the plus button again, uh, and this one is event UI notification. Uh, so we can choose the owner application just by clicking these building blocks here, um, and then all we got to do is find my UI. A lot further down, Paul. Use your alphabet, you do know it. Uh, you've got my UI here more than once. I'm just going to select all of them. By default, you probably only see one of them. I would recommend strongly pressing this all button at the bottom so that you can see all applications and all things that might cause notifications. Uh, and just tick everything related to that application. There is a sneaky one at the bottom as well. Thank you, my UI. So I'm going to click that sneaky one at the bottom, which is in Chinese writing as well. And when we press back, that means that anything with that notification will trigger uh, that. So any any uh, any notification from that application. So it doesn't necessarily um, work the way we want it to. What we probably want to do is set a specific title so that if this app causes other types of notifications, it doesn't automatically trigger Alexa saying those words. Um, so I'm going to type in here in the title, my wireless I think that's how it's written. Uh, again, capital letters are important here, so write it exactly as the notification appears, and then press back. Uh, and I want it to trigger the welcome home task. So as you can see, I can either create a new task, but now that I've actually got a task to choose from, I can choose that task. So I also want that to trigger my welcome home. So now, if my Bluetooth connects, it will do it, uh, and if I disable my alarm, it will do it. Let's test that theory now. I almost freaked out there. I thought it hasn't worked. I bet it has worked. Come on, 10 seconds. Welcome home. Yes! King of the castle, <laughs> Lord of the Manor. I am King of the Castle, I am Lord of the Manor, and that's how to get Tasker to trigger Alexa to say anything you want. Awesome. There is one final piece to this puzzle. That notification would get really irritating if it was on your phone all the time, and I didn't want it there all the time. I want that notification to come, trigger an event, and go away again. Um, you can do that really easily with anything, um, anything that cr creates notifications you don't want. So I'm going to use Dash Automation. Uh, this is a tool that I've shown you uh, in previous videos, and it is ingenious, and it is it has so many uses. And this is one of them. Um, I want it to dismiss the notification and then do nothing. I don't want it to do anything else. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press the little plus button here. It's now listening for the notification, and when I create my action here and the notification appears on the phone, eventually, there it is. It finds the notification, it says, my wireless switch double press has been found, what do you want to do with it? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to call that, I don't know, alarm okay. off. Okay. Shut up Alexa. Lord of the <laughs> so alarm off uh, has happened, that's what I'm going to label it, so I'm going to press save. Um, we now have a choice of things to do, and basically, we don't want it to do anything. I just want it to dismiss the notification. It happens to do that by default. Um, usually, you would then use it to do something else in a similar way to how we've used Tasker today. Uh, but I'm just going to go back to listening, make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to, press that back button, and you can see I've now got alarm off with a nice little logo for my UI next to it. 
Um, and if I now double click this thing, get rid of the previous one. I felt the vibration happen, but there's no notification. But the task did occur. Tasker will have seen that. And for the final time. Welcome home. King of the castle. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And you know what? Most of my funding comes from you guys because, well, YouTube do not like to part with the pennies. Uh, so if you want to help my channel out, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. And welcome to... I don't know. I haven't decided yet. What am I on about? Specifically to the specifically specifically. Um, if your name is not Paul and you want to, so yeah, what? And all you say is, uh, what do you say? How do you do that? How do you do that? <coughs> that doesn't work. <laughs>